Tesla just cracked the code that every car company has been desperately trying to solve for decades. And it's about to make gas cars completely obsolete. In the next 10 minutes, you'll discover how Tesla's revolutionary aluminum ion battery technology will slash your charging time by 60%, cut your insurance premiums in half, and make your electric car worth more money years down the road, not less. Welcome to Tesla Torch, where we break down the innovations that are reshaping transportation. If you want to stay ahead of the electric revolution, hit that like button and subscribe for more cutting-edge Tesla insights. Right now, if you want to fast charge your Tesla from 10% to 80%, you're looking at 20 to 30 minutes of standing around at a supercharger. And here's the frustrating part. It doesn't have to be that way. The problem isn't the charger itself, it's the battery chemistry. Current lithium-based batteries generate massive amounts of heat when you pump electricity into them at high speeds. This heat is literally killing your battery cells, so the car's computer has to slow down the charging speed to prevent damage. Think of it like trying to fill a glass with boiling water. You have to pour slowly or you'll crack the glass. That's exactly what's happening inside your Tesla's battery pack right now. The faster you try to charge, the hotter it gets, and the more the system has to throttle back to protect itself. But here's where it gets really annoying. As your battery fills up, the charging speed drops dramatically. You might start at 250 kilowatts, but by the time you hit 50% charge, you're down to maybe 150 kilowatts. By 80%, you're crawling at 50 kilowatts. It's like your phone charging slower and slower as the percentage climbs. Except you're standing in a parking lot waiting for it. This creates a domino effect across the entire supercharger network. And when each car takes 25 minutes instead of 15, the lines get longer, especially during peak travel times. You've probably experienced this yourself. Showing up to a charging station only to find a queue of Teslas waiting for an open stall. Now here's where Tesla's aluminum ion technology changes everything. Instead of lithium, these batteries use aluminum as the main ingredient, paired with a special type of electrolyte that's basically immune to heat problems. We're talking about ionic liquid electrolytes that can handle massive power flows without breaking a sweat. The science behind this is fascinating. In a lithium battery, ions have to squeeze through tight spaces in the electrode material, creating bottlenecks and generating heat. But aluminum ions move differently. They flow more freely, creating less resistance and producing significantly less heat. It's like upgrading from a narrow mountain road to a six-lane highway. What does this mean for your actual charging experience? Instead of that frustrating power curve that starts high and drops off, aluminum ion batteries can maintain peak charging power throughout almost the entire session. We're talking about holding 250 kilowatts from 10% all the way up to 70 or 80% charge. That 20 to 30 minute charging session suddenly becomes 12 to 15 minutes. But here's the real game changer, predictability. Right now, your charging time depends on weather, how hot your battery got during driving, whether you preconditioned properly, and a dozen other factors. With aluminum ion, you get the same fast charging speed every single time. Hot summer day in Phoenix? Doesn't matter. Driving hard through mountain passes? Still charges at full speed. For your daily life, this eliminates one of the biggest remaining barriers to EV adoption. Instead of planning your week around charging sessions, you can just top up during your regular grocery run. 15 minutes at target gives you enough juice for the entire week. This is especially huge for people who rent apartments or park on the street. You don't need a home charger when public charging is this quick and predictable. The ripple effects across the charging network are enormous too. When charging sessions drop from 25 minutes to 15 minutes on average, each supercharger stall can handle about 60% more cars per day. That means no more lines during busy travel weekends. The same infrastructure suddenly has way more capacity just because the car is spending less time plugged in. Now let's talk about something that might surprise you. Why your car insurance is about to get a lot cheaper. Right now, EV insurance premiums are typically 20 to 50% higher than comparable gas cars. You might be paying an extra $44 per month just because you drive electric. And it's not because EVs catch fire more often. Actually, 
Tesla's own data shows they have one fire for every 130 million miles driven, compared to one fire every 18 million miles for all US vehicles. The problem is severity, not frequency. When an EV does have a thermal incident, it's expensive. The battery pack might need complete replacement, the car could be totaled, and specialized cleanup crews have to deal with the aftermath. Insurance companies price their premiums based on worst-case scenarios, and battery fires represent some of the most expensive claims they handle. Here's where the heat issue we talked about earlier becomes really important. Every time you fast charge your current Tesla, you're putting thermal stress on thousands of individual battery cells. Over time, this stress accumulates. Cells develop tiny cracks, resistance increases, and the risk of thermal runaway grows. It's like repeatedly heating and cooling a piece of metal until it develops stress fractures. Aluminum ion batteries operate at dramatically lower temperatures under the same conditions. We're talking about core temperatures that stay 15 to 20 degrees cooler during fast charging. This isn't just more comfortable, it's fundamentally safer. Lower operating temperatures mean less thermal stress, fewer microscopic failures, and a dramatically reduced chance of thermal incidence. But the safety improvements go beyond just temperature. The electrolyte in aluminum ion batteries is non-flammable. Even if the battery case is punctured in a severe accident, there's no risk of ignition. Compare this to lithium batteries where the electrolyte is essentially a flammable organic solvent waiting for the right conditions to catch fire. Insurance companies are already taking notice of these improvements. When Tesla releases vehicles with aluminum ion batteries, expect to see new insurance products specifically designed for this technology. We're talking about premiums that could actually be lower than comparable gas cars, not higher. The risk profile is just that much better. Think about what this means for your monthly budget. If you're currently paying an extra $40 or $50 per month for EV insurance, aluminum ion could flip that to saving $20 or $30 compared to a gas car. Over the life of your loan, that's thousands of dollars back in your pocket. The maintenance story gets even better. Tesla owners already spend about half as much on maintenance as gas car owners. No oil changes, no transmission service, no spark plugs or air filters. But even EVs have heat-related maintenance issues, battery cooling systems, thermal management sensors, and occasional pack diagnostics when the computer detects unusual temperature patterns. Aluminum ion batteries run so much cooler that many of these maintenance points simply disappear. The cooling system works less hard, sensors last longer, and diagnostic visits become rare. Tesla's current battery warranty guarantees 70% capacity retention after 8 years or 150,000 miles. With aluminum ion technology, those numbers should improve dramatically. We might see 90% retention becoming the new standard. Now here's something that affects every EV owner, whether you realize it or not. Resale value. Used electric cars lose value faster than gas cars. And it's not because they're inferior vehicles. It's because potential buyers worry about battery degradation. How much range is left? Will I need to replace the battery in a few years? What will that cost? This uncertainty creates a vicious cycle. Buyers expect faster depreciation, so they offer less for used EVs. Dealers lower their trade-in values to account for slower resale. Banks assume weaker residuals when calculating loan terms. Everyone in the chain builds in a discount for battery anxiety, even though most EV batteries last much longer than people fear. Current Tesla data actually tells a pretty good story. Model 3 and Model Y batteries retain about 85% of their capacity after 200,000 miles. But perception often matters more than reality, and the perception is that EV batteries fade quickly and cost a fortune to replace. Aluminum ion technology directly attacks this perception problem with measurably better performance. Because these batteries run cooler and experience less thermal stress, the degradation mechanisms that eat away at capacity happen much more slowly. Instead of 85% retention after 200,000 miles, we might see 90 or 95% retention over the same D. E-stance. More importantly, the degradation curve becomes more predictable. Instead of wondering whether your battery will 
suddenly drop off after year six, you can count on steady, minimal capacity loss that extends well into the vehicle's second decade. This gives used car buyers confidence to pay fair prices for older EVs. Let's put some real numbers on this. Say you buy a $25,000 Model 2 with aluminum ion batteries. Current EV depreciation curves suggest it might retain 55% of its value after seven years, about $13,750. But if aluminum ion technology pushes that retention up to 65% due to better battery longevity, you're looking at $16,250 in resale value. That's an extra $20,500 in your pocket when you trade up. This improvement cascades through the entire ownership experience. Higher expected resale values mean dealers can offer better trade-in prices. Banks can approve loans with better terms because the collateral holds its value. Certified pre-owned programs become more attractive when the remaining battery life is both longer and more predictable. For Tesla's upcoming Model 2, targeting price-sensitive buyers, these economics are crucial. When you're buying a $25,000 car, an extra $2,500 in resale value makes a real difference in your monthly payment and total cost of ownership. Fleet operators are paying attention too. Companies that replace their vehicles every three to five years see direct bottom line impact from stronger auction values. When fleet cars retain more value, those savings eventually flow back to consumer pricing and availability in the used market. But here's the bigger picture. Aluminum ion batteries represent the moment when every traditional advantage of gas cars disappears. Right now, gas cars still win on a few key metrics. Refueling time, infrastructure availability, and predictable ownership costs. Aluminum ion eliminates the first advantage entirely and makes major progress on the other two. When your EV charges in 15 minutes instead of 30, the refueling time argument falls apart. When your insurance costs less than a gas car instead of more, the cost argument flips. When your car is worth more after five years instead of less, the financial argument reverses completely. The infrastructure piece is solving itself as charging networks expand, but aluminum ion accelerates the process by making each charging stall more iffy. I scient. You don't need twice as many charges when each one can handle twice as many cars per day. And here's something most people don't consider. Aluminum is abundant and easily recyclable. Unlike lithium, which comes from a handful of countries and requires complex processing, aluminum is everywhere. The United States has massive aluminum recycling infrastructure already in place. This means stable pricing, secure supply chains, and lower environmental impact as production scales up. As Tesla's new mega factory near Houston ramps up aluminum ion production, we're not just talking about better batteries we're talking about a fundamental shift in the automotive industry. When EVs become superior to gas cars in every measurable category, the transition accelerates dramatically. The early adopters who bought Teslas despite higher insurance costs and longer charging times are about to be joined by mainstream buyers who no longer have to make any compromises. When a Model 2 with aluminum ion batteries offers 15-minute charging, lower insurance costs, minimal maintenance, and strong resale value, all at a $25,000 price point, the game is over for internal combustion engines. This isn't just about Tesla either. Every automaker will need aluminum ion or equivalent technology to compete. The companies that adapt quickly will thrive. The ones that don't will follow BlackBerry and Kodak into irrelevance. The aluminum ion revolution is just getting started but the implications are already clear. Faster charging, lower costs, better safety, and stronger economics across the board. Gas cars had a good run, but their time is ending faster than anyone expected. What do you think about Tesla's aluminum ion breakthrough? Are you ready to make the switch when these batteries hit the market? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Tesla Torch for more insights into the technologies that are reshaping transportation. The electric future is arriving ahead of schedule and we'll be here to break down every development along the way.